Once you've finished adjusting your photo, there are a range of creative effects you can apply to add a professional touch. These include blur, stylistic, artistic and many more. In this video, we'll explore Photo Plus's Filter Gallery, a one-stop environment for applying filter effects to your images. So let's get started. As you can see, I've already opened my photo in Photo Plus. A recommended way of applying effects to your photos is by using filter layers. Filter layers offer a non-destructive approach to using effect filters and enable you to experiment as much as you like. On the Layers tab, your photo will be currently displayed as the background layer. Right-click it and select Duplicate. Name the layer Effects and click OK. To convert this duplicated layer to a filter layer, right-click it and select Convert to Filter Layer. This F indicates that the layer is now a filter layer and is ready to have effects applied to it. To open the filter gallery, simply click its icon on the Photo Studio toolbar above the workspace. On the right, there are a number of filters to choose from and these are all split into categories. Expand a category by clicking the plus sign next to it and then scroll down to view the filter thumbnails inside. To apply a filter to your image, simply click on its thumbnail. Your applied filter will be added to a filter stack at the bottom right corner of the dialog. The properties of a selected filter will be displayed below its name. Feel free to experiment with these properties to adjust the effect. For a closer view, you can zoom in or out using the zoom tools on the toolbar at the top. This grey button next to the filter's name indicates that it is currently applied. Click in this box to temporarily disable the filter if you need to. I'm happy with my image, so I'll click OK. Before we continue, let's look at the advantages of using filter layers. Click the Hide Show Layer button on the Effects layer to toggle the effect on and off. If I change my mind about an effect, I could simply delete this layer and the original photo is completely unaffected. Let's have a look at another example. I've already created a filter layer for this photo, as you can see on the Layers tab. Now I'll open the Filter Gallery. First, I'll apply a filter, like we did previously. I like the Lens Vignette filter located in the Distort category, so I'll select that one. The effect is quite intense, so I'll adjust the filter specific settings on the filter's entry in the stack. That's better. At the moment, the Replace Selected checkbox below the stack is checked. This means that we can only apply one filter at a time. To apply multiple filters, simply clear this checkbox. Now, apply another filter in exactly the same way as before. You can see these two effects work really well when applied together. To temporarily view either effect in isolation, click Enable Disable Filter. To remove a filter effect from the stack, click Remove this filter. Or, to go back to the filter's default settings, click Reset Settings. Finally, we'll look at some artistic effects for stunning creativity. The Artistic category is right at the bottom of the Filters pane and is expanded by default. Click on a filter's thumbnail to see how it looks when applied to your photo. Don't forget to tweak the settings to customise the effect. This photo looks fantastic as a watercolour painting. I'd like to see how it compares to the original, so I'll switch to split screen mode by clicking this button on the toolbar. A divider has appeared in the centre of the photo, which we can move from side to side to see how it has changed. Some filters have advanced settings which you can customise. Click the arrow next to advanced and then adjust the settings as before. Keep an eye on your photo because it will automatically update to reflect the changes so you can see exactly how it will look when you click OK. And that's it. 
To find out more about PhotoPlus, see the Learn section at the start of Assistant. Thanks for watching.